What is going on guys, today we are looking at Nyan Golan, the flashback cam, and honestly he looks absolutely fantastic. I did think that maybe we might have got a special card from him, he is a 93 rated from his 85 rule breaker right at the start of the game. I think last year yeah he got a 93, the year before it was a 93, the year before that was a 93, and then the year before that was a 94, so he's always been kind of chilling around about uh, the team of the season. He has got it for, obviously, well, this is a flashback for Calgary for last year. He then got it for Inter the year before, Roma the year before that, and then I think Roma then was kind of like his starting come-up team. In terms of what you can expect from him, he is, what, 5'9", with the 4-star, 3-star. He has had an upgrade on his skill moves from 3 to 4, which is always fantastic. And obviously, we've got a pretty well-balanced cam right here. He's got 87, 87 on his acceleration sprint speed, which, again, with the right chemistry style, can be very, very useful. It all depends on what you want to go for. Um, obviously, if you're looking for more of a well-balanced kind of CM as such, you'd be looking at maybe going for that shadow. Obviously, if you wanted to go all out cam, then you'd go definitely for that hunter. It would then raise his pace up to 97, giving his finishing up from an 84 to a 94, making him a 95 rated cam. So it is all dependent on what you want. Um, as kind of like a, a CM CDM, you'd look at that shadow and it take him to a 95 to 96 CM to CDM. Um, obviously, passing wise, we're looking pretty good on the on the base anyway. 91 on the vision, 97, 93 on the short and long, and 83 curve. Curve. Dribbling wise, agility balance, it's not looking terrible. 85 to 94, you can't argue. The rest of the stats looking pretty impeccable with that 95 composure. We've got great stamina and aggression. Slide tackle is already up there, and same with standard, to be honest. He does look pretty well balanced with the outside of the foot shot. I would personally like this guy more as a cam than kind of like a CMDM. So we're going to be putting him in with a hunter and we're going to be putting him in that cam role just behind Merton. So without further ado, let's jump in. See what Nyan Golan can do for us and hopefully become a good card. Nyan with some lovely dribbling, managing to get around quite a few people here. Oh, we didn't find him. Of course it of course it would go back to him. Nyan doing some work in that midfield. Wanna see, I wanna see him keep him running. Ah, oh, we're gonna get tackled by Rooney there. Knew that was coming. Did the wrong skill move and that's it. But his agility side of stuff and, and definitely how he can kind of move the ball is what really makes it for me for this card. Nine Golan doing it down a wing. Cut inside on Rooney. Ah, it's a bit slow that one. Nyan. Offers the guy out. Lovely. He's got that lovely pace. Go with the one two with him. Oh, can he keep it? Oh, we've just got tackled by mullered people. That's the problem with him. I do feel like he does eventually run out of steam, like like a lot of players do. We find a finesse, and that's stunning. He does find his way in, but he does kind of run out of steam, like a lot of players do after a while, but still manages to get on the goal. Gets himself his first one. Uh, Nyan. Good save from Schmeichel again. Is it going to go out? Just about. Nyan. Can we find with him? Got Chowdhury following, literally, he is a cracking DM. The foot birthday version is very, very nice. Really becoming a bit of a nuisance for Nyan to just get past that kind of midfielder mark. Maybe need to just kind of like not pass it to him um, until he's kind of pushed up a little bit. What on earth was that, Ronaldo? Oh, Nyan, don't do that. Oh, just getting the tackle in at the last moment there. I felt like that could have been a beautiful shot if it wasn't blocked. Nyan's going to find down the wing. That's a much better pass. Nyan's going to see in Ronaldo. He's going to get the ball. Little dink into Mertens. And it's... Oh, it's a save. How on earth? I've pointed towards the left-hand side of the goal where the keeper won. And unfortunately, he has gone straight down the middle with that volley. Nyan with a lovely interception. Not letting him touch that ball first. Sees in Ronaldo. Oh, he's going to do... I don't even know what that spin was in the end. Into Nyan. Can we get him through? Little ball roll? No, unfortunately not. Again, another great a great um, midfielder in this match. He's really put in a shift. He has gone from defensive to attacking consistently the whole game. And he is still going with it. Can we get our... Can we get our efforts made? Fred's just going to have him. Nyan is absolutely blown this match. 
So I'm going into the overall four nine golden. He is 250k pretty much across the board, and you just need to finish three SBCs for him, which obviously are quite easy. You've got an 82, which should be absolutely nothing, an 83, and an 87. So obviously the 87's taken up a lot of the value. The 83 and 82 should be easy. All of them do require an inform though. So if you are doing picks or anything like that, make sure you're even picking the lower rated informs just to get this one done if you should choose. Obviously the 87 is going to be a little bit more difficult to do, but should be relatively easy as well. Nyan, to be honest, has been here, what, how old is he now? 33 years old. He's been here since FIFA 10, probably before that. And honestly, he's just absolutely grew. I think it was, yeah, I think it was FIFA 60. Was it 16? FIFA 16 where he got his 89. I suppose then FIFA 17 is where he really flourished in terms of free informs, a team in a season 94, and he just kind of continued. He's never been one to get a mass amount of um, informs or special cards, but he's definitely got a few in the game every single year, which is always nice until this year, really. He's only had one rule breaker, which obviously isn't an inform, and he hasn't had an inform at all. So it's been an interesting year for him, obviously going from Inter Milan to Calgary or yeah, or is it the other way around? I think he does play for Calgary, doesn't he? So what does this say in here? Season stats uh, doesn't tell me his team. I thought, as I said, I don't know if I don't know if they can put a Calgary flashback in if he doesn't play for them. He may be on loan to Inter. That could be what it is. Um, but obviously, going off what we can see here, he may have moved to Inter at some point. But I think he might be back now. Overall wise of him, he's solid, absolutely solid. He keeps going the whole game. We used him so so much to the point where I think he was literally dying in the 90th minute because he just was everywhere from kind of like defending to some extent to then carrying the ball forward to attacking, to dribbling. He really can put a shift in and really can um, use his attributes of being a little bit of a smaller cam who's going to have that dribbling. Yes, I do think that I probably would go with Mertens over him in the cam role, but there is a difference in massive amount of price there. Whereas Nine Golan is untradeable, so that reach 250k. Mertens is 980k, and that obviously is not an SBC. So for now, Nine Golan definitely works. We already looked on the Merton ones. The Belgium kind of links you've got, especially in team of the season, is absolutely cracked. You've obviously got Carrasco, Mertens, Lukaku, De Bruyne. You've got Courtois in as an SBC. Tillemans as an SBC. And then you have got, was that it? And then obviously him himself as well um, and Hazard I suppose but we haven't reached the Belgium league yet either so that could produce some other Belgian players that really link up well that we will see we'll never know uh, until we get there I think there is a lovely link here with obviously Lukaku Mertens and Nine Golan all as strong links in the Serie A so that is a very very good uh, kind of thing to have a look at like I said originally the shadow or the hunter is what you want to be going for depending on the position you want him in obviously the hunter will just max out his shooting but then still gives him that pace increase, which I think is absolutely fantastic. But Shadow will kind of give him that overall centre mid CDM kind of feel just because then it really kind of balances out that that defending to that striking so it is completely down to you obviously people are using different depending on what position they want to go with him in I feel like centre mid actually could work for him really I think he definitely could carry the ball up for you and really do a little bit of a shift as well as adding that shadow onto him overall wise I'm going to give him a 9.2 let me know down below what you think about him I think he's a good SBC that you need to complete but just Make sure to subscribe. See you next time.